Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about this M8 Raptor scope from Primary Arms. This is a compact scope, it's actually in the name of it. If you look in over here, uh, let's get your focus here, PLX, oops, I just lost it. PLX Compact 128 by 24 first focal plane. Um, so this scope here is a little bit shorter than uh, most of the scopes out there, uh, most of the variable scopes out there. This The total length of this comes in at about nine and a half inches. Um, this one over here, this is the original uh, 1 to 8 ACSS. This comes in at about 10 inches. And then this SLX 1 to 10 by 28. There's a 34 millimeter tube. Uh, this comes in at 10 and a half inches. So one, as I've been working with these uh, different scopes, one of the um, one of the things that I have found right, as, I, as I've been working with this is that you've got to be careful if you get into a gun grappling situation. If you can vision where you're, you're fighting over the gun, if your th if your hand slides down into this position here, right, it's now in a prime position where if the rifle is twisted it's going to break bones over here. It'll break your thumb either here or, or there. Okay, that's a thumb breaker right there. Okay, um, this section on this scope from here to here, okay, that's three inches, right? Well, in this case, yeah, let me see. Yeah, three inches. So it's three inches from here to here. Where on, on the M8 Raptor, it is only about it's actually less than two inches like an inch and three quarter inch. um so if you're over here i mean you can still break it if your thumb if it ends up all the way down here and this rifle is twisted but if you're up here you're not going to break the thumb so uh, just an added benefit of the compact scope now even though this is a little bit shorter the overall weight is the same uh all these scopes with mounts come in at about a pound and a half uh so this is shorter but it uh, so, so but it makes up the extra weight uh, in the turn. So this has a much a, you know larger turn. So in this section over here, that's where it makes up the extra weight, and all of them end up being a pound and a half. So that's one of the things to consider with the with the variable scopes on top of your AR. AR. If you get into a gun grappling situation, you don't want your thumb to end up over here, where if the rifle is twisted, it will break your thumbs. You know that's as far back as you want to go. And of course, with the with the sh with this section being shorter, it's less likely to get caught and broken that way. So, little thing I uh, picked up today as I was working with somebody. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon.